Chief Olufalai, a former national chairman of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, and one-time secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, Chief Olufalai, on Tuesday, said Kasina State has not benefited anything from President Muhammadu Buhari's presidency, despite the fact that he's from the state and is currently in his fifth year in office. Speaking in a chat with independents, Falaye, a former presidential candidate, said traditional rulers from President Buhari's home state are presently hiding in Abuja and cannot return to their state owing to rising cases of banditry, kidnapping, and other vices. He argued that the, that the only solution to the myriads of problems confronting Nigeria today is restructuring and not the zone that will produce the presidency. The question of the rotation, rotating presidency is shadow boxing. It does not address the real issue confronting Nigeria. Where the president comes from does not solve the problem of Nigeria. Today, Buhari is the president of Nigeria and is from Kassina State in the north. Presently, the traditional rulers from Kassina are in Abuja. They can't stay in their homes in Kassina. Is Buhari's presidency solving the problem of banditry, employment, illiteracy, poverty, and insecurity? Let people stop deceiving us about where the president must come from until we restructure Nigeria and restructure opportunities, power and resources and people can develop themselves. We are just wasting our time, he said. Of course, that's what I've been saying, that uh, Buhari is the president, you know, from the north. Tell us, he's even trying to, Olufale is even trying to narrow it down to its state. But let's even take the region in the, you know, for instance, what are they benefiting? Borno State, uh, uh, all of that states, all the northern states, Zamfara Plateau, and most especially the its own uh, state as well. So what have they benefited? Nothing. The people who are benefiting are just those who are politicians, the politicians and the, the, the so-called leaders across board. They are the ones benefiting all of these things. It is, they are speaking for themselves. They are not speaking for the masses. They are, they are not speaking for the masses. Even the restructuring we are even talking about, it is a, you know, it's a stepping stone because by the time the restructuring is being taken place, when all the zones, all the geo, cis geopolitical zones will be controlling their resources, then every, all, all of those regions will still go there and start all over again because we still have a, all these a, a principalities and power, they will just go there and station themselves. All of those who are a, at the center now, all the people from, from across board, at the center, and all of them will now go back to their different area. They will start a, their marginalization there. Then it will not be a, a case of, oh, this region, they have to face the, the people that will be there. So that the problem will not be, will be, will be minimized, if I can put it in that way. Like uh, those who have been clamoring for, you know, the vice president is from the southwest. Tell me, how has he benefited them? He's just benefiting himself and those who put him there. And that's it. Go to go to Oshibajo's uh, uh, state. Uh, how does is 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 him being the vice president affecting people from his state? Not to talk of from people from his uh, locality. And if we want to, you know, generalize it to the southwest, how is he affecting them? People are just happy. Oh, uh, so our our son is there. That is just is that all? And you are suffering. Our son is there. The only thing they did for them was to share ten thousand naira. Uh, trade that money for them. That's it. They will just shout. Tell me what they are benefiting. One thing that they, an individual on the street can, can 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 boast of that he has benefited for you know as a you know this man being the vice president for Shiba. So it's see the same thing. See the same thing. So that everybody will just go and face their problem, their their regional problem at that level. Because we know that these same people, those who are committing all these atrocities, they are the center there. It's a, it's, a, it's a typical example is what is happening in Niger Delta. And you can see that in Niger Delta, everybody is quiet. So if they have their own uh, resources that they are controlling, if their people are stressing them or whatever, they will not have to call somebody who are the center. They have to deal with their people. But even with, the, with, with and again, if we look at this whole thing thoroughly concerning this restructuring of a thing, it has been simplified again into states. Then why is it that we are not even getting 
what we need to get. Then what is now the work of the governors? Because if we are talking of region, that one, that one it too, is going to be a, a big problem. Now it has been simplified to state. Then why did that the governors are not even doing, doing what they need to do? It's still the same thing because they are getting allocation. We are just talking about it. The only uh, uh, area which I can see that, okay, maybe these governors are complaining, is the area of uh, security because they will tell you, oh, uh, they are just a chief security officer of their state because they don't, uh, they don't have control over the, over the police, over whatever, because those want, as they still have to take uh, permission from the IG. But even at that, they are still getting security votes. So the problem is just some, I don't just understand. Even what we are running, the kind of system we are running, if we have people who would know what they are doing, wouldn't have been having problem. That is just uh, uh, the truth of the matter. We just have to look at everything holistically because if, as you are looking at this area, you are still saying, okay, but we have state government governors. Then what are they doing? They have their security vote. What are they doing? And that security vote, you, they cannot even account for it. They can do it. What they, you know, spend it anyhow they like it, anyhow they like. Whichever way they want to spend it, whichever way. So what are we talking about? Because we still don't have sincere people. Even when we still do, when we still go in the route of restructuring, it's still going to be the same problem. I so I I think now see what is happening in Niger. That everybody just keeping quiet. Now they said okay, the resources, whether it is a, a small money or whatever, just like uh, this man was alluding. Asari Dokubo, that's a, what is it? One billion naira. <laughs> What is it? One billion to him is it is nothing. If that little one that you think is little, if it's being used judiciously, you think the face of the DC will not have changed. It would have changed a little. Even before now, we are talking of AC, AC one billion. But what of the ones they've been receiving since the creation of NDDC? So what are we talking about? It's just like a from fry pan to fire. You know, you can just say, Oh, maybe I'm just going this way, I'm just going this way. So then what is not the problem? What is not the problem? If restructuring cannot work, because if we are waiting for restructuring, at least we should be using the issue of states to console ourselves. At least we'll be able to hold our government accountable, our governors accountable. Before you even talk about uh, the, the 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 president, what about our senators, uh, acts of race people? What are they doing? We are not even doing all those ones. You know, the whole thing is just the whole thing is just confusing. So, just like uh, uh, Lufala is saying that. Whether presidency from anywhere, it's not going to solve the problem in this country. It won't solve anything. It will not solve. They say they do not want to hear anything about a restructuring or revolution. Do we do need? What do we not do? Do we need another civil war to settle this cause? This is true. Restructuring or no restructuring, my idea of Nigeria that let each region go on their own. You, these uh, fathers, should support the idea before going to your grave. All we want is to do our nation. How Safulani will continue to do what, what they know how to do best. That is killing and jihad war. All if you should support Professor Akintoye to achieve this Ududua nation. This will be great. Well, let's hear your opinion, guys, concerning what Ulufalaya said. Thank you.